The first thing to know here is that Cavalry was designed with 3D space in mind. That's why 00, zero is, and always has been, in the centre of the composition. That way we don't end up with two coordinate systems when you want to mix and match 2D and 3D space. Uh, this means that when you turn on 2.5D in Cavalry, the change happens in line, like so. To create a camera, click the camera tool in the shelf. Now that we have a camera, you can see the result of changing the 3D transforms. For example, changing position Z will move the shape in and out of the scene. And here you can see the effect of changing rotation. To move the camera, you can use the camera tool found in the toolbar to orbit, track and dolly the camera. Click and drag while holding Command on Mac or Control on Windows to orbit. Hold Alt or Option to track the camera. And holding Shift will dolly. The camera contains some offset attributes, so you can layer animation on top of your keyframes. This means that adding a handheld feel is as simple as adding a noise behavior to the lookout offset. Even with that done, you can still use the camera tool to interact with the scene as normal. There are also some incredibly useful utilities that will help you make your 2D scenes camera ready. In this scene, we have a flat graphic, but by selecting some shapes and then clicking the Distribute and Scale button in the camera UI, you can spread them out along the Z-axis without visually altering your scene. Once the layers have been spread out, you can then move a freeform camera through your layers. Here, I'm setting a couple of keyframes, and then I'll add some magic easing as a finishing touch. And here's the result. 